Welcome back to Crypto Eddie. How are you doing guys? You doing good? Excellent. Okay, today in this video, I'm going to compare Casper and Kadena. I'm also going to talk about, about Taraxa as well, which is a similar project to Casper, but not really. Uh, you'll know what I mean when I, when I explain later. Okay, Casper, where did it come from? It came from the bear run, came from nowhere. But this token was actually released in November 2021 when Bitcoin was flying high at 67 and a bit of change, 67,000 and a bit of change. And Casper's just kind of like grabbed the limelight during the bear run. So, you know, let's just have a look at it on CoinGecko. Um, Casper is now 11 cents. OK, I heard the founder CEO talking about it being a dollar soon. And I think it will get to a dollar quite soon because that's less than a 10x. It's about a 9x from here. OK, so let's look at it in terms of price on the... Uh, maximum. So you can see, look, if you went back to June 2022, what's that? May, May 2022, which is when it first got listed on CoinGecko, you could have picked this up for what? One, two, three. It's done a 150x, about 150x to get to where it is today. What does that tell you? Well, what it should tell you is that a lot of people were accumulating it down here okay so you know uh whales you big youtubers they will have been quietly accumulating this and you see there look that's where the cat was out of the bag okay when it went to three and a half cents yeah look at it there look like naught naught one six yeah and then it did a 20x to there okay and then you know you had a bit of a Okay, it came down here. Since there, since it went to a cent and a half, people have been waiting for pullback so they can get in. Never really pulled back a little bit here. Yeah, went from just under five cents back down to three and a half. If you didn't grab it then, probably too late. Yeah, and now as you can see, it's 11 cents. Okay, now obviously, anyone who's bought it here. You know, they've got a lot of tokens and anyone who's bought it up here, you know, you didn't get as many tokens because you paid more. Yeah. Now, these people here, and this is a long time, like May 25th to, you know, here, October 15th. So June, July, August, September, October, you got five, six months. People were accumulating. They've got all that cash, but they got really cheap and they're expecting it to go to at least a dollar, they're going to start dumping, okay? So if you've been buying it up here, uh, I'm, I'm sorry for you because, okay, you might get a 10x, but where will a 10x take the market cap? Well, at the moment, it's 2.6 million, yeah? But if I put this on market cap, you're going to see something here. It was over... 3 billion market cap, okay? So for this to do a 10X, you're looking at 30 billion market cap. Now, you're going to get about a 10% dilution. That's not a big deal, you know, but can this go to 30 billion? Now, don't forget, Casper doesn't yet have smart contracts, okay? And it's not a complete blockchain. It's just a, a ledger, okay? So... It's not the same as Kadena. Kadena is an established blockchain, which does have smart contracts and has a lot of dApps built on top of it. OK, it's a complete ecosystem. So let's just have a quick look. I mean, I I'll give you my price prediction at the end, but let's have a quick look at Kadena's price movement. So we can see that Kadena on CoinGecko now is a dollar forty eight. OK, and it's only 390 million, only that's a lot of money, yeah? But, you know, it's about nine times smaller by market cap than Casper. So I think in terms of price and tokenomics as well, that Kadena has got the upper hand. So you might say, well, I don't know. Kadena's got a max supply, total supply of 1 billion. 
Yeah, I know, but they've got a 120 year plan for releasing those tokens, okay? So you're not gonna get much dilution on Kadena either. So let's say Casper Kadena dilution is, you know, it's all equal. You know, it's down then to market cap and quality of the project. Now, I think that people have been talking about Casper and saying, well, Casper's a little bit like Cardano in the last bull run because, you know, uh, Cardano didn't have smart contracts, didn't have a functioning blockchain. And uh, yet it went to 94 billion. Okay, so if Casper goes to 94 billion, that's only about a 30x. You know what I mean? Now, what about if Kadena goes to 94 billion? What are you going to see? Well, it's 300. Let me just do the maths for you here quickly. Yeah? So 90 million billion divided by 300 and 90 million 433 uh, 657 yeah 657 you can't accuse me of not being accurate okay so look at that look if you got a 90 billion market cap on Kadena now you'd have a 230x token, okay? If you got a 90 billion market cap on Casper, then you'd be getting about 30, 30x. So you can see quite easily that on price, on market cap, tokenomics, Kadena is easily a better bet to put money into than Casper. So if you see a YouTuber saying, Casper is still 100x, they're talking bollocks, you know? There's no way that Casper is 100x from now because that puts it on a market cap of about 280 billion. It's just not going to go there, you know? Okay, let's have a look at the website of Casper. Let's see if we can be convinced. Okay, so Casper features. Casper was developed to solve the trilemma in the usage of digital assets Security, okay, you don't want anyone breaking into your blockchain, stealing your tokens. Scalability, we want transactions to go fast and cheaper, okay? And decentralization, we don't want a single entity to control or own the actual project, otherwise it can be corrupted. Utilizing a revolutionary block DAG as opposed to blockchain, Casper allows the fastest, not sure about that, scalable, well, every blockchain is scalable. Do you mean the fastest or the most scalable? And the most secure transactions with absolutely no sacrifice to decentralization. So here's some of their features. It's got fast transactions. So it works on the blog DAG network that generates multiple blocks every second for posting transactions to the ledger instead of doing single blocks like Bitcoin does, okay? Instant confirmation. Okay, so it's designed to be hundreds of times faster than Bitcoin. We know that Bitcoin's slow, that's okay. Uh, but Bitcoin is the, you know, the digital gold. Casper is not. It's trying to prove it can be. But you're going to see that Casper really, you know, they're just trying to build a payment system. Okay, it, it doesn't really offer that much, except for we're fast, instant confirmation, scalable, you know. So I don't really see anything with Casper in terms of an ecosystem, you know. Um, and let me just have a quick look on their YouTube and you know, you'll see that Casper's talking about, look, send and receive Casper. You can see they've positioned themselves as a payment system. Again here, look, making a Casper payment via QR code, how to bridge Casper from Casper to Ethereum. Okay, if we come down again, um, it's looking for something else about the payment system thing. Anyway, you know, making a Casper payment with a QR code again on change. So Casper is mainly positioned as a payment system. Okay. And what does the Kadena website have to offer? Well, let's just have a quick look, shall we? You know, it's, it's quite, you know, I think I find it quite boring, the website, the way it, turbocharging adoption with eco. In fact, you know, I don't like their website, but 
you know, what they've got on their website is actually quality. You know, I'll just blow it up a little bit here so you can read this. You know, I, I hate this text where you can't read it, you know. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at their vision. So an innovation network for hyper growth. Kadena Eco is a new initiative designed to bring together the biggest thinkers in the blockchain industry, top tier tech talent and unparalleled strategic capital to fuel Kadena's ecosystem hyper growth. So these guys have not been marketing much in the bear run. They just didn't care. They just got on quietly with their development. OK, so vision. Kadena Eco is an innovation network fueling mainstream adoption on Kadena's builder centric blockchain that delivers Web3 innovation with Web2 usability. We're uniting technical founders and entrepreneurs with the world's top blockchain leaders, venture capitalists and acceleration partners to support startups at every phase of their development journey. Kadena Eco aims to speed the development and adoption of meaningful applications that benefit everyday people worldwide. About us. OK, so this is what I want to show you about Kadena that, you know, really convinces me that this is a shit hot project, you know, innovation that works and then behind the tech and you come down to the team here. OK, so Kadena is the industry's only scalable proof of work blockchain. OK, it's just the only scalable layer one proof of work blockchain. OK, so Casper is not a complete blockchain. It doesn't have anything built on it. It's just positioning itself as a payment system, as far as I can see. The principal feature that drives Kadena is scalability, which enables Kadena to deliver infrastructure grade performance for any blockchain project, along with our own smart contract language, PACT, which is apparently the easiest language that anyone can build on. Kadena's platform provides the world with tools an environment to turn ideas and ambitions into reality. Founded by Stuart Popejoy and William Martino, who created JP Morgan's first blockchain and led the SEC crypto committee, Kadena aims to allow for true blockchain mass adoption. So these the guys who built Kadena are amongst the best in the business. They were working for JP Morgan, for the SEC, etc. You know, I mean, these are some of the top people in the industry. OK, our founders prior to the launch of Kadena in 2016, so they've been building for a long time. Don't forget, I mean, they're about five years ahead of Casper. Our founders were already leaders in blockchain and cryptocurrency solutions. Stuart Popejoy led JP Morgan's emerging blockchain group. So JP Morgan have always been keen on getting in on blockchain, you know, but looks like some of their best developers have left. Uh, Will Martino was recruited, re recruited, <laughs> sorry about that, just need a quick sip of my tea. Will Martino, is that better, yeah, was recruited from his role as the tech lead for the SEC's cryptocurrency steering committee. Together, Stuart and Will built JP Morgan's first blockchain, now known as JPM Coin. And there you go. There's the guys there. Yeah. Will Martino, Stuart Popejoy. OK, they created Kadena to answer problems that no one else had addressed. One of them was the, the blockchain trilemma. And advisors, Kadena's advisory team consists of experts such as Dr. Stuart Haber, co-inventor of blockchain and the most cited author in Satoshi Nakamoto's renowned 2008 Bitcoin white paper. Haber's innovations don't end with Bitcoin but live on in Kadena with the launch of Immutable Records, IR, on our upcoming NFT platform, founded alongside the other co-inventor of blockchain, Scott Stornetta. IR exploits Kadena's unique advantages, such as institutional grade provenance, on-chain minting and custom marketplaces. OK, a bit of sales talk there, yeah. But you can see here, look, when you meet the team here, it tells you, you know, exactly who they are. You can check them in LinkedIn. You know, this is an absolutely, you know, A1 team that they've got here. And they've been developing this blockchain since 2016. So 
nearly as long as Cardano has been getting developed, but they already have smart contracts. They have a, a big ecosystem. And I just see that Cardano, looking at it from the current price now and looking at the market cap and looking what Cardano went to, looking what Casper's done, I just see Cardano doing at least 100x, you know. So I don't see it as a 40 billion market cap if they get the marketing right. You know, that's the only issue for me. And I just don't think they cared about marketing recently. I do believe that they have an announcement coming out on the 3rd of January, which is quite soon. And they'll be revealing some, some announcements, some news that might push the Kadena price up. It, it's already gone up because some people are anticipating that, but it's been lagging behind quite a lot. A lot. I mean, look at it, 390 million. This is, this is going to go to 2 billion pretty fast and then keep going here. Okay, so that's Kadena. I see it as a 100 to a 200x token. And the last token that I want to talk about is this one here, Terexa. So Terexa is similar to Casper in the sense that Terexa is a, um, it's a proof of, it's a proof of stake blockchain, but it also has the block DAG which is the same completion scalability model that Casper has, okay? In fact, all three of these blockchains, sorry, of these cryptocurrencies, they, ha they have a similar way of actually scaling transactions. So I wouldn't say that one of them is faster than the other or whether that really matters to you because I think the, the main thing that you're interested in is how much money can you make out of these uh, cryptos? Now, I've already said Casper, maximum I think it's a 30x. So if you hear a YouTuber saying it's 100x, it's talking out of his ass. okay? Kadena, probably Kadena can do 100x to a 200x, okay? Kadena can easily go to what Cardano went to in the last bull run. So what about Teraxa? How well can Teraxa do compared to Casper and Kadena? Well, I don't think that Teraxa can do quite as well as Kadena because Teraxa operates with the same block DAG for completion and scalability as Casper does. So I see it as similar to Casper, except it's a proof of stake rather than a proof of work. That could actually work out better for Teraxa because in the last bull run, we saw how Cardano, you know, maintained a huge community because a lot of Cardanians, <laughs> people who follow Cardano, they were staking their Cardano, and that seems to be happening with Teraxa now. People see that they can get yield and they want to hold their, their Teraxa until the price goes up. And a lot of people holding Teraxa do believe that it will 100x. So 100x from now, if they fully dilute, that will be a 15 billion market cap. Very doable because think about it, that's six times less than what Cardano got to in the last bull run. Okay. Cardano is a huge ecosystem. There was little competition there because, you know, you had like uh, Vitalik Buterin and you had the guy from Polkadot. What's his name? Gavin Wood. And then you had Charles Hoskinson. So Ethereum, Polkadot, Cardano. Those were the three big kids on the block. They're no longer the only kids on the block. As you can see, there's a lot more layer ones coming in. Okay. Now, I think an established layer one like Kadena, which has solved the blockchain trilemma, has really got the lead. You know, they haven't been boasting, they haven't been hyping themselves, quietly getting on with what they do, and now they're starting their marketing. So I expect Kadena to blast off into, you know, uh, crypto space, whatever you call it, you know. Teraxa, I expect it to do something near 100x at least, possibly an 80x, but this token could do 150x, okay? But I think it's more risky because it is a new kid on the block. Okay, right guys, that's about all I've got to say for this video. Tomorrow, I will, or maybe not tomorrow, just in my next video, uh, might be sooner, I'm gonna be dropping you a couple of tokens that could go from maybe 100 one of them I think can thousand X. Okay, so I'll let you know what that is in the next video and my Patreon will be coming soon. Okay, 
So I've been working out the finer details of the Patreon to give you guys the best value. Okay, if you haven't liked this video, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel. Give me a little bit of support. I hope you're well, wherever you are. Take care of yourself. Thanks for watching and listening. See you in the next one. It's time for a cup of tea. <sighs> Cheers.